Alrighty, fellow travelers, welcome back to the Adventures of a Traveling Dawn. My name is Benjamin O, and today we are continuing our exploration of coastal Maine. Uh, we're stopping here at Winter Harbor real quick to get some breakfast with a couple of friends. Uh, one special guest, which you guys, if you've been following, you've known her a few times. But anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and get some breakfast, and then we're going to go head up further up the coast than we did in the previous video before my Deer Isle video. All right, so today we're at a place called GM Garish for breakfast. This is in Winter Harbor. It absolutely looks awesome. It's just kind of like a cafe and ice cream shop. But uh, yeah, it looks really cool. They even have like, these really nice coffee mugs that like just have like the big old moose on them. I'm like that's actually really kind of cool. And of course I'm joined today by Miss Emma making her debut. Uh, she actually, we used to work together and now she is the early morning anchor for Fox Bangor. Fox 22 and ABC 7. So if you're ever in Bangor and you uh, are up early in the morning, check her out. <laughs> and then of course, you guys have already all met her. The birthday girl herself, Sky. Sky. Everybody say happy birthday, Sky. Happy birthday to you. Is that embarrassing? <laughs> so as we're waiting for the breakfast stuff, uh, birthday girl decided to get some, cl uh, some chowder. And this looks freaking phenomenal. Give you a little taste of that. Oh, right consistency. Oh, damn, that's good. That is absolutely fantastic. And. Did you get the Admiral back? I did. And breakfast has arrived. We've got the. Uh, the, the the grindstone neck McGurmish. So we're gonna try this in just a moment. All right. So for my breakfast, I got the grindstone neck. Um, it's called the McGurmish. So it's basically a uh, English muffin with uh, egg and then whatever the meat that they put in there. You can do cheese. I got uh, cheddar and then of course grindstone neck salmon. So this is local uh, salmon. We might actually go past by grind um, grindstone neck in a minute after after breakfast. But yeah, let's give this a try. Oh, that's good. Come on now. And that salmon, that smoked salmon is fantastic. By the way, when you come here to Garish, it's one of the few spots in Maine, like a breakfast spot, where you will, can actually get hash browns. Most places in Maine do breakfast potatoes. They do hash browns here, which our birthday girl has been wanting for so long. Too many years in Maine, not enough hash browns. Yeah. You can get them at Denny's. You wanna go to Denny's? <laughs> Denny's doesn't count. Don't go to Denny's at Denny's. Disgusting. Denny's is an hour away. Emma, Emma, you apologize right now, Emma. <laughs> no. <laughs> That was a good breakfast. By the way, can we just take a moment and just marvel at this yard here? This is just absolutely amazing. This is my friend uh, Emma's family house here in Winter Harbor. I guess that th this is their family home. They don't rent it out for Airbnb, but if I think if you ever find places in Winter Harbor that do Airbnbs, try and get them. You know, it's just a little bit quieter. You don't get service out here whatsoever. Uh, maybe a bar will pop up every once in a while. So if you really want to get away, <laughs> this is the place to do it. But uh, I love all the little houses out here and they have like their own backwoods yards and stuff. It's really kind of cool. Okay, so this is grindstone point uh, uh, behind me. So this is kind of like the neck further down is where uh, you get the grindstone neck, uh, the salmon uh, from earlier. But uh, this is just a nice little spot. I'm not gonna tell you exactly where it is, but you can Google map it. Uh, grindstone 
Point. That's where you come. And it's kind of like this nice rocky beach, but it's got a lot of the main rocks that go right out into the water, uh, very smooth, so they're slippery, so just be careful. But uh, it's yeah, it's a great place to just come out, wade in the water for a little bit. You get to see the ferries that go past by, and it's just this beautiful spot here outside of uh, Winter Harbor. It's absolutely fan fantastic. All right, so we're on uh, down near Skudik on a secret trail. I've never actually done this, but Miss Emma is in charge of this particular part of the journey. Now, we're not gonna tell you where this is, but you're gonna see some stuff, and then it's up to you on a scavenger hunt to find it. So yeah, this is the secret spot. Just make sure you don't fall down the cliff. But it's a uh, beautiful, I've never been here. This is amazing. Well done, Emma. Well done. Yeah. By the way, uh, what, what, what is this uh, spot well known for? Smoking weed. Smoking weed. Smoking weed. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's just, I mean. Don't worry, it's with legal my... here. <laughs> it is legal in Maine. So if you want a quiet spot to come smoke some weed if you're and enjoy, plus and this is amazing. They should have you a see sign this sign? Too. This sign right here. Please don't walk here. Please. <laughs> Sky. I walked in over here. There's a path and no sign. Leave me alone. It's my birthday. It's, 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 it's Freaking birthday little princess over here. Yeah. Good God. Just because it's her birthday. <laughs> Alright, so those were some fun shenanigans. Got to do around the little Scudic Point area, um, some shot, some places I haven't actually ever been to. So thank you, Emma, for that. Uh, but happy birthday to Sky. But uh, they're off to do their own adventures, and now I am off to actually get into really what I was planning for for this video. So let's continue on north, guys. Alrighty, so our first true stop today is a place called Chipman's Wharf, and this is uh, just outside of Millbridge. So if you're coming up the one and you pass Diano's, which was the last point in one of my previous videos in the Hidden Gems of Coastal Maine, great place. But uh, you go past that, you hit Millbridge, you take a right on Wyman Road, come all the way down about a mile and a quarter, and on the left-hand side, you just drive down into Chipman's Wharf. This is a lobster, uh, fishery lobster wharf. Um, they bring in about, close to about 23,000 pounds of seafood, mainly lobster, pretty much almost every day. It's a cool spot though. It's got a great, um, it's got a great little store inside where you can get a bunch of just fresh seafood right there. You know, uh, packaged salmon, lobster, meat, all that kind of good stuff. They've got, you know, little knickknacks as well. And then of course they do have a grill. Now they're open from 11 to four uh, in total, but the grill is only open from I think 11 to two. So you gotta get here a little bit earlier, but I'm telling you, it's worth it. I got myself a uh, lobster mac and cheese. They give you quite a bit of lobster. I mean, you get that full knuckle right there, which is just fantastic. So I'm gonna give you a little little taster real quick. Mm. It's that gooey kind of mac and cheese with a little bit of breadcrumbs. So it's just, it's not runny at all. It's just, mm. and like the cheese just kind of strings off. It's fantastic. I even have, this is the first one for me. Green Bee Blueberry Dream. This is a honey soda, so it's a wild blueberry juice with honey and fresh ginger. So, looks kind of cool. Let's give it a taste. 
Oh. oh man, that's actually really good. You can taste the ginger in there. You got the sweetness of the honey, um, but it's still very much blueberry flavor. But it's really cool. Like I would definitely recommend coming down here. Like it's it's I think 4.9 stars out of uh, five on Google. This is my first time here, but like I, you you can go into the tank area and view it and the guy that works in there he just you know he's full of knowledge and he was ready to share with me just like just the you know the the anatomy of lobsters what kind of lobsters they can catch what they can't catch the you know the rules in maine and just like the way that they set everything up like their whole tanks they pump in uh, like ocean uh, ocean like fresh ocean water just off here off of the bay you know so it's it's really kind of a cool system and it's awesome to see but yeah, Chipman's Wharf is definitely worth a visit. All right, so this next spot that I'm doing here is on Great Voss Island, or Great Wass Island. And this is the Great Wass Island Preserve. It covers a big portion of the island, um, but it is beautiful nature preserve, probably one of the biggest along coastal Maine in general. And it's got this nice little hiking trail that's not too hard, a little bit of up and down, but it's about four and a half mile loop total. But it is a fantastically beautiful spot. Not a lot of people get out here, um, which kind of keeps it, you know, a little bit more secluded. But it is fantastic. Occasionally you'll have people that come up on boats and they'll just... Um, offload on certain points and then they'll come up and on the trails as well uh, but it is a great beautiful island big nature preserve lovely like i said four and a half almost mile loop hike so you do get your exercise out of it but it's just it's nice to be in nature and this is about from where we were at uh chipman's this is about 40 minutes away. Uh, you just continue down the, or you just continue up the one, one north, as if you're heading to Lubeck in Canada, and you take a right on 187, head right down. You get beautiful views of um, hitting Beals Island, the town of Beals, uh, Addison, a small little town. There's like all these little coastal main towns are absolutely fantastic to pass through. But Great Voss Island, you want to come out for a nice little, you know, couple hour hike. This is the place to come. To. All right, so this next stop is here at Roke Bluff State Park. And this is one of the many state parks uh, that Maine has, particularly along the coastal area. Uh, Maine takes great care of their nature when it comes to all that stuff. But this is Roke Bluffs, and it's divided into two spots. You have, of course, here is the beach behind me and all around, and this is Englishman's Bay. It's fascinating history with all of that too, like because you have Englishman's Bay here and down near Acadia, you have Frenchman's Bay. This whole area of Maine used to be fought over for many, many years between the English and French. But anyway, the state park is divided between two, the beach, and then you have inland with Sampson's Pond and about six miles of nature trails that you just kind of walk through the forests, old orchards, all that kind of good stuff. So you get a little bit of both inland and the sea at the same time when you come to Rogue Bluffs. Now, because it is a state park, if you have natural National Park um, you know passes those don't actually get you free parking uh, you just go up to the little uh, thing there and it's four bucks to park your car I think that's per car so it's like you know if there's four or five of you in a car that's four bucks it's a dollar a person so it's fantastic uh, but it's just a beautiful beautiful spot and it's very uh, far north this is about almost an hour and a half to two hour direct drive from Bar Harbor and it's pretty close to Lubeck and Canada. So you think Lubeck is maybe up the road that way and going north by about another 30 minutes or so. Uh, so, but it's a great spot. And actually, I love this area. This and Great Voss 
This is a little bit further north from Bar Harbor. It's not as sheltered and it's a lot cooler. You know, this is probably about 10 degrees cooler than it is in Bar Harbor. Like right now, I think it's like 62, which is for me, perfect. But yeah, this is Rope Bluffs. So the last spot that we're doing here is a place called the Meadows Takeout, and this is right off of Route 1, right down from Diano's, where I did what I did in a couple of videos ago, and then of course um, right outside of Millbridge. Uh, so this is another kind of like just like roadside takeout place. You get a lot of these up and down one, and honestly up and down a lot of Maine. But uh, this is a unique place because they do this, you know, that kind of uh, down east, uh, lobster rolls, clams, things like that. But they put like a Portuguese twist on it. There's like a few different things in there that are uh, Portuguese style, including me. I got the linguiça roll. It's been a while since I've actually had some good linguiça. I mean, this thing is freaking massive. Holy hell. But we're going to go ahead and try this real quick. Yeah, see, I'm a, the virgins are at one end of my road. You know what? That's not bad linguiça sausage. That is fantastic. Smoked. Got great flavor. I could use a, I could use a little bit more spice. But it is Maine, so. But the flavor on that is fantastic. And for dessert, we have a, um, a key lime pie, but they do fried key lime pie. You know what I mean? Holy hell. That is massively huge. So let's try this off real quick. Oh my god. I got top. Oh my god. Yeah, you, don't want to, you won't take out money. Oh, that is fantastic. We'll try to find something else. I don't know if because it's fried. Thank you, dear. It's a little sweeter. I like my, my key lime pie It'll usually a little bit more tart. Damn, that tastes good. The cinnamon and like brown sugar on top. Oh my god. Yeah. If you're ever driving up the one um, down up and down Maine, you come up to uh, this area down east, stop at the Meadows Takeout. This is fantastic. Alrighty guys, that's gonna be the end of the video today. I hope you enjoyed everything that we did on this video. Roke Bluffs at the end, of course, Meadows. All the food that we did was absolutely fantastic. And of course, the morning with Skye and Emma, you know, hanging out with them, and of course, Skye for her birthday. Skye, love you, girl. Happy birthday, and I hope you had a great one today. I know I had a great time early this morning and afternoon. But anyway, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys stick around for upcoming videos coming down the pipeline for Maine. And of course, I got Canada coming up in a couple of different videos uh, coming up in September. But anyway, folks, Thank you so, so much for joining me on this adventure. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Really helps out the channel. And of course, hit that notification bell to let you know when all the videos come out. Now guys, I will see you on the next adventure. Until then, peace out and have a great night.